So today we're going to learn about the substring method that can be used with strings. And basically what, they, uh, what this method allows you to do is to grab sections or parts of a string. And the best way to show you is to give an example. So there are actually two variations of the substring method. Both of them are very handy. You'll end up using them a lot. So let me show you an example of each variation. So let's say we had a string, for instance, string last name equals Smith. However, you want to just grab the first four characters of the last name, and that's where you can use the substring method to do something like this. You create a string new last name equals last name, so you're using this variable from here, dot substring, and you're going to put the section of the string that you want to grab. So you're going to start at spot 0 and go up to spot 4. And I should say, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, that in Java, everything is zero-based. The characters that make up the last name variable are assigned values as such. So we have the last name Smith and index or spot zero is the S. So that's what I mean by zero base. The first spot starts with zero, not with one. The M is spot one. The I is spot two. The T is spot three and the H is spot four. And so what this does, zero to four, is it starts at S and goes up to H but not including H. So it's going to grab these four characters. So it always starts at the whatever number you put in there and goes up to but not including the second number. And by the way, anything that you put in a we're going to learn a lot about a lot of different methods and methods always have parentheses at the end and some methods you can put what are called parameters in and these are parameters 0 and 4 um, and this method, the substring method, uh, allows you to put in two parameters to verify the starting and ending point of the substring. All right, so let's take a look at actually how that would work in practice. So here's our class we call substring and just as I showed you above we have our string variable and we create another string variable and that's going to be equal to the first four characters of our last name variable and let's we'll print that out to the screen just so you can see it in action so let's go ahead and compile that run it and there you go see it's just got SMIT it didn't get the H and so you could this could be Smithenberry, and it's still only going to go up into that T. Right? Still just gets the M H S M I T. Uh, see, I have some new code in here now. We got a string called year. That's equal to 2012 in quotes. So it's actually not a number. This is a string. And then we're going to make year equal to year dot substring 2. And so the way this works is it only takes one param parameter, the substring method, instead of two. And how this works is it goes to that spot, the, the, two, you know, the, the two spot, so you have spot 0, spot 1, and then spot 2 starts with the where the actual number 1 is. And it grabs that spot and everything after it. So it's going to, it should print to the screen when we print this, um, the number 12, you know, the string 12 in this part. So if we had a bunch of stuff after this, it would print everything after it as well. But we just want to get the two-digit year. So let's compile it. Take a look. And that works. Okay, so 
maybe it dawned on you, maybe it didn't, but you can use this to generate a username much like we do at our school. And that's what I'm going to have you do for homework. I want you to create a program that generates a username just like our school does. Thus, the user will enter his first name, then his middle name, and then last name, and then finally graduation year, four digits. You, you know, they're going to have to put in a four-digit graduation year, like 2015 or something like that. Then the program will display their username. And I'll give you an example of that in the description below. Create In your program, you're going to want to create about um, four different strings. I would, make, I would make a string called first name, a string called middle name, a string called last name, and one called year. And remember how I told you how you can do this. You can have a string. You know, new name. And that could be equal to nothing to start out with, let's say. And then new name could be plus equal to. That means it's going to add to it. something like that so that you can keep adding to a variable so you might that would be your fifth sh string variable that you make that would probably be the one that you print out that's going to hold the username you probably should call it username and that'll print out so I'm gonna I don't want to give too much away though I want you to kind of try to figure this out be creative come up with a solution and show me on Monday